we, we've been mountain biking all day and we took so many wrong turns. We ran out of water and uh, so we're calling in Dave. I actually don't want a lot of fuel because we're gonna be landing at like 9,000 feet. The fact that Jason has to call in help means that it's actually kind of a big deal. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the vlog. Huh, Hans? It's the vlog. The vlog. Listen, today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual because we weren't planning on making a video, and now we're making a video. I'm going to go back in time a little bit here in a minute to show you guys what today's been like. So it's a Saturday, pretty mellow day, wasn't planning on doing much. Yep, that's cold. Freezing balls. Uh, we were working, just me and Hans, the rest of the guys are out. All right, I'm going to take you guys along for an average Saturday. But today is just a small crew with Mr. Hans right there. I am in the blue Kenworth. Hans is in that one. So Hans and I went up to do some uh, trucking today to haul some stuff off of the big perch that we made. These big girls are really cool. 200 gallons each. All right, we are here. We're gonna start loading. Obviously I've got the low boy on the W900. And we're going to be picking up that machine right there, the big excavator. Uh, something went wrong. Um, what happened was things went actually terribly wrong. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, yeah, it's a really heavy excavator. Most of it should buff out, actually. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, probably worst performance of my career. That machine was no good. And now... It's just going in like more of a consolidated pile. What a mess. So as you guys can see, the day was well, interesting. So on the way home, I got a call from a buddy of mine, Jason, and he went mountain biking this morning. And he went with a friend, and they're at the top of the mountain right up there somewhere. And he basically got a hold of me. Now, Jason, you guys understand. You guys have seen Jason before. He flies with me, a good friend of mine. He is Mr. Adventure. This man can get through just about anything. So when he calls in an SOS, well, we kind of fucked up. <laughs> we, you know, it's pretty serious. So he reached out to me, he's like, hey dude, we're at the top of the mountain, we're out of food, we're out of water. We've been mountain biking all day and we took so many wrong turns, we ran out of water. And uh, so we're calling in Dave. Is there any way you could come pick us up? Because they still have a long ways to go. It's about to get dark and uh, it's not a good situation. So me and the boys are getting ready to jump in the Dolphin, not the Black Hawk. Because Black Hawk is a two-pilot helicopter. Dolphin, I can fly alone. And we're gonna go rescue our buddies. All right, gotta do a quick pre-flight. First things first, we got to see how much fuel we have. I actually don't want a lot of fuel because we're going to be landing at like 9,000 feet and less weight, the better. So I just want to make sure there's enough to get there and back. We got two hours of fuel. We are golden. So now we check oil levels. It's nice because this helicopter has the sight glasses. You can check them all right there. Check all of our hatches, make sure everything's closed. Uh, come back here to the tail rotor gearbox. Our oil level. I just checked, uh, I just did a pre-flight on this yesterday, so it's already pretty much good to go. I'm just doing kind of a quick once over, make sure there's no open doors or hatches, make sure I got all the oil levels are good. Uh, everything looks pretty much solid. I'll do some checks on the inside, then uh, we'll be in the air. What you got there, Hans? Waters, Gatorades, sugars, hydration stuff, frozen bottle. You know, as I'd want. I was top of the mountain and dehydrated. Roughly, um, he sent me a pin drop. They're right at uh, the top of Grandview. See that other airplane? Oh, that's the airplane yeah. there. So they just took off, got 
wishy wash where they were at. I guess they left earlier this morning. Um, they're both really aggressive bikes, and they're on e bikes. So the fact that Jason had to call in help means that it's actually kind of a big deal. Uh, Just ran out of food, water, everything. Yeah, I guess his buddy is, is not doing well. Jason's doing a little better than his buddy is, uh, but they're both, you know, out of food, out of water. Yeah, all that. So, and they're almost out of batteries on their bikes. They still have a long ways to go, and it's going to be dark in oh, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things where they uh, got the airplane. Except for traffic, they have a couple of flights here. Julie had to go over down and pull up the airplane traffic and drive no factor. Well, I've never seen a little barn right there. That's sick. Yeah, we almost bought that house. That's the one you looked at? Yep, forever ago. Yeah, I remember that spot. I almost bought this house, but I, yeah, I, mean, I was like, I just don't like the rock, nice kids style. falling down the house, yeah. hillsides and shit. Uh, they're still pretty high. They're going to be at least 8,000 feet or better. I mean, did they have to travel to the spot where we can land? Yeah, he says they're on a ridge line. He sent me a pin drop and it looks good. Uh, they got their bikes, so we're going to have to open those back doors and get their bikes in there. Yeah. Uh, if we need to, that seat folds up, but I don't think we can do. And those rear doors, the extended cab opens up. Dude, they're up here. Oh, dude, just wait. This is a, this is a way still. Just wait, they're way up here. What what canyon is this? Mueller, Mueller Park. Well, this is a stretch. Yeah, especially depending on which way they came. If they came up Bountiful, then they've been on those bikes all day. I came up here on my dirt bike with Jim two years ago, and we ran into the exact same situation. We were stuck on our dirt bikes, thinking that we were going to have to freaking walk down. Can't imagine on a bike bike. All right, so you'll see them right up here. All the way around. 
this and we started at East Canyon this morning and so we ran out of water and we made too many mistakes and before you knew it I was like the sun setting and I was like it's over we're done. You want one? Sure. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, while I've got you up here, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is an awesome one. It's very fitting for what we got going on here. You see, they're way up here in the mountains, and they're riding trails that they were using, like, Google Maps and all these different things, trying to figure out where to go, which is why they ended up getting lost. They were going the complete wrong direction, and they wouldn't have had that problem if they were using Onyx Off-Road. You guys know Onyx Off-Road is a very, very powerful mapping tool. It provides you with an app that you get into and it shows you all the trails in your area, topographical maps, it'll show you 3D terrain. They would have known how steep these hills are. They wouldn't have tried to climb that big Grandview Peak over there. They could have avoided a lot of this mess. They were just using Onyx Off-Road. So I don't wanna see any of you guys end up in the same predicament and have to call me and come rescue you, although it would be kind of fun. Waypoints that you can set, you can share routes with your friends, even if you're not an off-roader, if you're just looking for a very powerful mapping tool, like these guys just got caught trespassing on that right there, which is apparently private property, which they didn't know. They would have known that had they been using Onyx, right? So listen guys, I need you to please support the sponsor of today's video, which is Onyx. They support us, they help us not get lost. I'm telling you, it is one of the best apps on my phone and you should get it too. Onyx is gonna hook you guys up. So if you use the promo code HEAVYD20, click the link in the description below, you're gonna get 20% off the app. Thank you Onyx for sponsoring the video and thank you guys for supporting Onyx because they make this sort of thing possible. Should I have been using? Onyx off-road, doofus. You messed up my sweet panoramic shot, too. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That was a sick shot, though. What are you going to do? You're going to download Onyx, download right? Download Onyx. That's what I'm talking about. Because they paid for your jet fuel. <laughs> Jason, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? I up. <laughs> I'm not you usually did. this bad at planning. I, no. I, this is, I, I, I have to come up and do this again or I'm never going to get this, this over This is the guy with. that flies my plane too, so <laughs> Mr. Planner. Planning my budgets or my fuel budget here. Like we're running out of battery on our phones and yeah. our bikes and no water and it was just and you're getting, still way up and we're here. still way up here. We're getting to the point that we were like, oh no. If Would, you were in town or something, we'd be so oh, yeah, right did a nice ride down. Started oh, in East Canyon all the way to here. I know. It was uh yeah, I know. So, and you're a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? On the ground. We were trying. We we were we we're cruising up through there, and the worst part was, I mean, we've only done about 18 or 19 miles today, but there was these two or three trails that there was no trail. So we're just bushwhacking with our with our bikes and shoving them up. Like we we ascended like the, one of the hills was 1,200 feet of just bushwhacking up the hill trying to make it to here, and we got so far in, it's like we're not going to go back. There is a trail in there somewhere. There's Walker. <laughs> and so then we went this way and we made it all the way over. We dropped down here and then we were, uh, we cut through this guy's property, sorry. Um, <laughs> and we were trying to make it up and we're like, there's gotta be this Grandview Peak Trail that I saw on, on the maps. But I'm getting down to like 10% on my phone. Did you phone. get down in there? Yeah, so we went all the way down oh, in yeah. there all the way up three quarters of the way up the mountain up there <laughs> and then realize there's no trail it's like basically cliff rock yeah, climbing yeah. with our bikes and so we're trying at that point i'm like all right we either have to make it all the way to the b and out tonight or we're not going to make it out and so we start going up this hill this very last hill and walker starts like collapsing so he's like pushing the bike up the hill and stiffing and falling on his face and i was like <clears throat> had it he was done he was out of water and starting to fall and get dehydrated and i was like oh no i was like i can't believe we let it get this far i'm always I'm always like extra water, wow. super safe, but this these trails are deceiving up here. I'm shocked. It, it is like, it goes forever. Especially when you get down in there. I got stuck down there on my dirt bike two years oh, ago. Oh, did you? And me and Jim, and it got dark, no headlights, ran out of fuel. Listen, How did you get Jason. out eventually? Uh, one bike still had enough fuel, so we rode it out to get fuel and then came back. It was a nightmare because we, you can't ride up through there. See, the problem is, is I know you would have got out of this situation without a helicopter. And yeah, so it I'm wasn't like- fun. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fun. This is way easier. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, I would have, I, I think I would have kept going and pushing it. I, I probably would have been absolutely wrecked, but it was honestly Walker on that last hill. I was starting to get nervous. I was yeah, like, I was if we don't blame it on you now, if we don't get, yeah, <laughs> I would have made it. Yeah, of course, so of course. I need some, Jason, we're not, no, we need we're to, just disappointed. I, I, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I'm so disappointed too. All right, let's get the bikes loaded up. Here's what we love about the Delphine. 
between is an extended gap. So let's pop that. In. He's a peak guy. <laughs> I did. I talked about this whole thing with my helmet on, didn't I? And and these uh, so like glad. stereotypical biker glasses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Oops. I judge you hard. What's All in right. This bag then? Absolutely nothing. Uh, I got a sandwich. I was too afraid to eat the sandwich because I thought I was gonna get so dehydrated. So I only took a couple bites of the sandwich. I'll let you guys stack the other bike in here however you want. Okay. This thing is a beast. It is a beast. I actually can't believe it just did this. Holy shit. That was crazy. That was wild. <laughs> that is such a high altitude takeoff. So hold on. What was the plan if it wasn't going to do that? <laughs> but I, I'm confused at how we just took off. They were like, I was surprised it did that. <laughs> what were we? Just get a couple, throw a couple guys out, do a couple trips. <laughs> Jeez, OP. <laughs> What were you at on the torque on that? That was crazy. Uh, torque wasn't bad. Uh, my uh, N1, my uh, compressor was was uh, ma about maxed out. I was I was in transient. I had five minutes of that, and I actually still have a little bit more to go. Wow! Surprisingly, That's and I got thrill. a lot of fuel too. I'm like two hours of fuel right now. That's crazy. Yeah, this is where you guys would have had to come all the way through here. Have you come so through here? Then we would have had to go through this peak off over the peak to our left still. Yep. Or we would have had to ride this trail off to our left all the way to the beat. Uh, we were just running out of time. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It just picked up right there and we still had the power. That was nuts. See, we would have still been on this trail right here through this whole section to get to the beat. Round trip, what was that, maybe an hour? Thanks again, dude. Took off, yeah, no worries, dude. That's why helicopters are the greatest. I know it was a uh, short and sweet video, but uh, showed you guys what Saturday looks like around here sometimes. Interesting day, to say the least. The question I have is, do you like these, well, it's actually a hands question, but I'm wondering the same thing. Do you like these kind of videos? Let us know, drop a comment below. I'm super picky about what we post. I am very critical of all the different stuff that uh, comes up through our channel. And I always have a tendency to be like, if it's not perfect, don't post it. But I found that some of our more impromptu stuff that's like not polished, not planned, does really well. You guys like it. So if you do, drop a comment, let us know, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm honestly just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I messed up. That was, uh, that, was, that was ridiculous. When you call me, I want it to be that ringtone now. I, just, I messed like up. That?